Hi, this is Kevin from Mathsaurus, and in this video, we're going to look at questions 6 to 10 of the Junior Maths Challenge from 2019. If you're preparing for the Junior Maths Challenge, also take my free online course, uh, Get Ready for the Junior Maths Challenge. In that course, you can practice real questions from recent Junior Maths Challenge papers. Every question has a video hint as well as a full video solution, and there are no ads or distractions like there are here on YouTube. Uh, sign up in the link below, no payment details required or, not, or anything like that, totally free of charge, so have a look at that now. There is also an upgrade course called Go for Gold in Math Challenges, and in that course you can learn about all of the techniques you need for the Math Challenges and practice on loads of original practice problems that I've made up there as well. But you can have a go at the free course first, it's a big course and it's very substantial and it will really help you prepare uh, for the Junior Maths Challenge. So I really hope that I'll see you over there. To get to expert level in the Maths Challenge, we can sometimes recognise that we can make questions easier for ourselves if we rephrase them. And this question is clearly equivalent to saying which of these is closest to 7,000. This one would be 7,090, this one would be 6,918, 7,170, 6,700, 7,085. Then we don't have to worry at all about making mistakes with fractions. You could, of course, just do the subtractions, uh, subtraction with uh, decimals, I mean, rather than fractions, sorry. But we have nice whole numbers. So it's not now much more obvious, right? This one is 90 bigger than 7,000. This one we can see is 82 smaller. This one is 170 bigger. This one is 300 smaller. And this one is 85 bigger, so the closest is 6.918, because 6,918 is closest to 7,000. So the shortest street in the UK, Ebenezer Place in Wick, is 2.06 metres long. That's tiny, isn't it? That's a real place, by the way. You can Google it and see pictures. Otherwise, uh, uh, the Trans-Canada Highway, one of the world's longest roads, is approximately 7,821 kilometres in length. That's enormous. Now the question says, approximately how many times longer than the street is the highway? And this word approximately is key here, and you can see from the answers, they're all nice round answers. So we want to round off the numbers before we do the calculation and just get an approximate answer. So 2.06 meters long, that's approximately two meters. 7,821, you might be tempted to go for 7,800 here, and in some contexts I would, but looking at the answers, they're all just one significant figure. They're just a four with lots of zeros. So I'm going to do the same here and say it's 8,000 kilometers. The next thing we have to be careful about is that one kilometer is 1,000 meters, so we've got to make sure we're working in the same units. So 8,000 kilometers is 8,000 thousand meters, or 8 million meters, and so I want to divide that by 2, uh, and then I will get 4 million, and that means the answer is A. Now there are probably some slightly different ways of going about this question, but one thing we want to notice is that we've got a rhombus PQRS, and the rhombus, the uh, pairs of sides are parallel, right? So I could say, for example, that these two are parallel, I could also say the other two are parallel, but I'm going to use these two. So if we try to look out to use the parallel line theorems, if I draw a little bit of uh, extra emphasis on these lines, you'll probably notice that it looks a bit like your standard case of a parallel line theorem now. And in fact, we could use alternate angles, sometimes people call them z-angles, to say that this whole angle here is equal to 35 degrees because these two angles are alternate or z-angles. Now, um, so, to, so the angle we actually want to work out is FPG, so that's the one that goes from here to here to here, so we actually want this one in the middle here. So uh, this is easy now because I can look at uh, this triangle, G um, to P to Q, and the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, so we do 180 minus 120 minus 35, and that gives us 25 degrees. So this angle here is 25 degrees, and that means that the angle that we're actually looking for here, this one, is 35 degrees minus 25 degrees, which is 10 degrees. Also notice the diagram isn't terribly accurately drawn here, so don't be tempted to try to uh, use a rough guess for the answers here. Um, we're gonna always assume that diagrams in these papers are not to scale. The key to making this question a lot easier is to realize 
that 50% of 18.3 is actually the same as 18.3% of 50. Why is that the case? Well, if you work out a percentage of 18.3, I'd be doing 50 over 100 times 18.3, whereas if I do 18.3% of 50, I do 18.3 over 100 times 50. Well, those two are exactly the same. They're both 50 times 18.3 over 100. This one is 18.3 times 50 over 100. So when we work them out, we'd be doing exactly the same calculation. And that's exactly why we don't work them out in this question. We're just going to say, well, we know they're both the same. So let's take 50% of 18.3 and just say we've got two lots of that, right? So two lots of 50% of 18.3 is 100% of 18.3. And so the answer here is B, 18.3. Okay, so I want the last digit of the smallest positive integer whose digits add to 2019. Now, if you think about this, this is going to be a very long number, right? If I start writing down digits at random here, 8, 7, 6, 1, 4, 3, right? Uh, I keep going. I'm trying to get them to add to 2019. There's going to be a lot of digits in here, right? At the moment, it only adds up to, you know, 21, 22, 20, 29, right? So there's loads of digits here. So uh, how do I make this the smallest possible number with this digit sum? Well, um, the fewer digits that I have in a number, the smaller it is, right? 246 is always smaller than 3149. You know, any three-digit number is always smaller than any four-digit number, and so on. So I want to get to this digit sum as quickly as possible. And so the way to do that is just to use nines all the time, right? I'm going to use nines as long as I can, uh, and at some point I might have to use uh, something else, but I definitely want to keep the digit sum uh, small and we'll just tweak it for the final digit right so if we do uh, 2019 divided by 9 um, so 9's into 20 go 2 times 9's into 20 with 2 left over 9's into 21 go twice with 3 left over 9's into 39 go 4 times uh, with 3 left over so I get that 2019 is equal to 224 times 9 with the remainder 3 so I can write that in this way. So the number that I'm looking for is going to have 224 nines and somewhere it's going to have a 3. right? Now obviously I wouldn't put the 3 at this end to make it the smallest possible number I am going to um, put the 3 uh, at this end and then that's a lot smaller. So the last digit of the smallest positive integer whose digits had to 2019 is going to be 9. Of course, if you want to go for the expert level solution here, you might not have done any of this calculation at all. Once you've got the idea of this, once you've realized uh, the strategy for constructing this number, that we're just going to put a load of nines, right? Uh, and then whatever I have left over, I'm just going to put at the front of the number. It doesn't actually matter. The last digit is going to be nine, and you could do it with a bit less calculation if you're trying to save time and give yourself time for, for those really hard later questions. So I really hope you found this video useful. Don't forget, if you're preparing for maths challenges at any level, I've made free courses for all of the maths challenges. You can find links uh, in the descriptions below. Uh, click there and sign up to those now. No payment details required, uh, nothing like that. So you can sign up totally free of charge. There are some upgraded courses as well with some extra content. If you really want to master the challenges, you can sign up for those as well. But there's loads over there. Uh, for free. So I really hope that I will see you over there soon.